It's finally time, the long-awaited Wumi room tour. If you've watched my live streams before on Twitch, you probably know that this is a really long time coming, but if you're new here, hi, I'm Umi, I'm a Twitch streamer, as well as a variety gaming lifestyle content creator here on YouTube, title pending, but I'm here today to show you my room. So let's get right into it. And knock, 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 oh wait, gamer at play. Welcome to my room. We are going to be going around my room, beginning with my entryway. Starting off with my wall of plushies, a lot of these actually used to live by the window as well as on my bed. You might have seen it on my stream if you watch my Twitch streams, but I decided I wanted a slightly more minimal look rather than like plushy overload, so they live here now. Next up in this little entry area, we have just my general keychain. This contains stuff like my ID, my credit card, and other things that I need to take with me on the go, all on this little hook here so I can grab it and go. These are other grab and go items for me. We have some Rilakkuma masks, my Rilakkuma wallet, and some gum, a portable charger. As you can tell, I like Rilakkuma a lot, but this is sort of my get ready and go station right next to my door. My get ready and go station is actually this cute little set of shelves. These have cute little awo faces on them. I got these from Amazon. I kind of want to repaint them, but I'm lazy, so I don't know if I'll do that. This is my accent wall right next to my entrance. We have Strawberry News. It's a Japan publication for Sanrio. They are magazines, but I'm using them as posters, so I kind of taped them up over here, and they are held up by a series of command hooks. I also have these little plushies attached on the hooks there. This area is also where my mirror lives. It sits on top of this little Minecraft block. The reason I put it on this Minecraft block is because I'm too tall to fit in it otherwise if it's on the floor because then I can't see my full self, but I can now. Next up on our way to the closet, we have a lamp here that I barely use because I don't like turning on the big light. I like ambient lighting, but since I don't use my lamp for lighting, I actually use it to hang a whole bunch of stuff. We have a Christmas ornament. We have something I made in like fifth grade. I believe this is a Squishmallow that one of my community members got me when I used to have a PO box. And then I also have have a whole bunch of lanyards from when I go to conventions. This is TwitchCon 2023. If you haven't seen that vlog already, I highly recommend checking it out. Behind it, we have TwitchCon 2022, as well as my local convention here in Honolulu, which is KawaiiCon, which I try to go to annually. Next up, we have my closet. Of course, we have like usual closet fare. This is the majority of my hanging clothes. They're also color coordinated by hanger. And so white clothes goes on white hangers, light clothes goes on pink, and then black clothes go on black hangers. The right side of my closet is where my dresser lives. Wow, dresser. This dresser has a whole bunch of stuff on top. We have some pictures from high school, a whole bunch of candy I've made before, a little skeleton, Hello Kitty and My Melody one, some of my favorites, and then a whole bunch of miscellaneous shit. I'm not gonna lie. My closet is definitely the messiest part of my room because I like to keep this stuff so clean. So uh, junk has to live somewhere. But some of it's cool junk, like this is a working diva gun. It lights up. Hold on. Okay, well, the sides are supposed to light up, but I swear it used to. We also have some books. Uh, I have not read either of these yet. This one I'm borrowing from my sister, and this one I bought myself. And then this is my old water bottle. I love all of my stickers on here. This one was actually one of the first pieces of merch I ever released, and then never released again. But just a big Umi heart sticker. Shout out to anyone who still has that. And then back here is a whole bunch of, like, miscellaneous beauty junk. And then random hats, random youth soccer trophy. And then my dresser itself. This drawer, this drawer, and this drawer are all clothes. This one is, like, I guess desk peripherals. And then down there is just my junk drawer. Down here as well, we have my shoe rack. These are not all my shoes, but these are the ones that I don't wear as often, so I don't keep them near my front door. We have combat boots, Steve Madden heels, and then these cute little, here, wait, let me show you. They're a little dusty. The cutest little slip-on Uggs, but they're the tiniest bit too small for me, but they're too pretty for me to get rid of, so I'm hoarding them forever until my feet miraculously get smaller. Down here, we have a couple boxes. This is a keyboard I haven't built. This is my PC box from when I built my PC in case I need to move it. We have more clothing storage in these boxes. And this right here is a little standing wire shelf full of stuff. Again, I have a great need for storage in my room and so I tried to figure out as many solutions as possible and it's working so far for me. This is where a lot of my bags and hats live. This is a really Kuma tote bag from Japan LA. These are two new tote bags that I got that I'm in love with. These are Maison de Fleu. Maison de Fleu. I, I'm so sorry, French people. But it's a Japanese brand. They collabed with Rila Kuma, which is why I know them. I also have a little Sanrio tote. And then more bags. Oh, and this is a little set of keychains that I like to switch out on all my bags. It kind of covers a lot of areas of my interests, like plushies and gaming with the Minecraft bees and mechanical keyboards. I just like doing this as a way of giving people a little sneak peek of who I am as a person. But yes, speaking of mechanical keyboards, it's like basically the rest of this is mechanical keyboard storage. We have stuff like cables in this box. We have tons of keycaps. This is my toolbox, actually, for all my mechanical keyboard stuff. Can't really open it here, but I build mechanical keyboards. And this contains all of the tools I need to do that. 
that. More keycaps. And then down here, I have a laundry basket with all of my hand wash clothes, but I haven't gotten around to washing them because hand washing is so tedious. And then a little step stool to reach this stuff up here. Wow, stuff. I love stuff. These are keyboard boxes for keyboards that I don't necessarily have the ability to display right now. I have a Minecraft sword, I have more desk mats, I have a yoga mat, and then I also have these fabric storage boxes with like a clear view so I can see what's in them. And then this last top right part is just more boxes and then hats because I like hats but I don't really wear them. That is my closet. Right next to my closet we have this little area right here. I like to lie down right here a lot and just read sometimes because Squishmallow has been really good pillows because they're really soft and fluffy, especially the giant ones. And this carpet is really cute and comfortable, but it's such a big to clean. Like if you look close, look how much like lint is trapped in it. Cutest carpet ever, worst carpet to maintain. This is where I keep a good chunk of my plushies. They sit on top of this faux leather ottoman. That one's like fake though, it's from AliExpress. This cute little axolotl squeak toy that I have. <laughs> We have a Kizuna AI plush, all-purpose bunny. This is my first Rilakkuma ever. Oh my gosh. And then another Rilakkuma plush here, which leads us to my bed. I gotta tell ya, I love this bed so much. It may not be the most comfortable, but I recently changed it up a bit and I love it so much. So I'm very excited to show you. This comforter that I have here, I actually had in college. However, I left it with my brother over like winter break one time and then I came back to it and then it was stained to sh and I don't know exactly what happened to it, but I couldn't use it anymore. So I had to get rid of it. But then I was like, I want a new comforter. And so this one came to be, but I don't actually sleep under it because I use a throw blanket because I live in Hawaii and it is hot and I don't need a comforter to sleep under. We also have this adorable little Rilakkuma and Kurilakkuma throw blanket over here. My favorites, my favorite children. <laughs> don't tell the other ones, but these are my favorite children. I'm sorry to say. I mentioned before that the plushies over there are ones that used to be sort of in this area, but I did want to downsize because it is a queen, but I was sleeping on like this side of it only. So now now we just have the Kurilakuma bunny head. We have the Sherbert Kurilakuma from Japan LA. The strawberry Rilakuma. We have a little axolotl squishmallow right here. And then we have a whole bunch of others over here. We have a Kirby. We have Kurilakuma, Rilakuma, also known as the Sheriff, if you know, you know. We have a Skitty plush. Skitty is my favorite Pokemon. We have a Rilakuma and Friends Dongo plush, which is actually my favorite plush of all time. And then we have my Sanrio favorite Cinnamarl. We have some various cats. That one in the middle is actually a rabbit that I used to have as a child. I mean, I still have, but you know, I had in better condition as a child. And then we have my beautiful headboard. I really like Miku. I did not have a Vocaloid phase in middle school like a lot of people who do like her did. I found her later in life, but I really like her music and I really love a lot of the figure designs of Miku. And so I picked up a whole bunch and I will show you them. We have the Puss in Boots Hatsune Miku and we have a little cinema roll um, that ties into the sort of navy of her jacket. We also have this Easter Bunny Miku and we have of course, my melody tying in the bunny theme, as well as this cute Rubik's cube and this one over here that I actually got from my PO box. So thank you for that. <laughs> Next up, we have this angel Miku and she has a ghost my melody with her because they're both white. And then we have traditional Sakura Miku with Kirby. This is a perfume my Lola gave me. And then we have this little sleepwear Miku with Potako. I find it very cute. I don't know. I thought I was clever. Oh, and then we have chibi Sakura Miku, but she doesn't have anyone. Relatable. And then moving over here, we have more Rilakkuma. We have my original favorite bear, Winnie the poo. This is like one of those lamps that you smack to change color, but it's kind of annoying and finicky, so I don't really deal with it. But we have three of these little Gachapon Rilakkuma figures, as well as another Rilakkuma ambient light. This is my Wi-Fi router. This is one of my favorite things. It's a little coin purse, but it looks like the pleading emoji, but it's Rilakkuma, and it's so damn cute. And this is a tiny little K-truck that I have, because I think K-trucks are adorable, and I want one. Directly next to my bed, we have my little bedside setup, which, I mean, isn't a lot. And then down here, we also have like my miscellaneous outlet box. It holds my phone charger and my AirPods charger. We also have right on this bedside this jar of random things. Uh, we have a pan flag, even though I use the buy label, but same same. We have this little sadness money plush, which was featured in my Kawaii Con vlog. It's supposed to like eat your sadness so you can be happy. It's trying its best. And then I also have this little Kirby coaster where it looks like he's getting squished just because sometimes I will put my water bottle by my bedside. This is my Guppy LED light. Changes color, you can change the brightness. 
I also like it a lot because I use it to sort of track time. I'm really bad at sticking to routine, so this one turns on at 10 o'clock, which is my signal to stop what I'm doing and go take a shower. And then when I come back to my room, this stays on until 1 a.m., which is when I should be in bed and should be done with everything and going to sleep at that point. It's actually really helpful. Highly recommend. It's controlled by your phone and Bluetooth, so pretty cool. Now, this whole section of my room is one of my favorites. First up, we have my Ikea pegboard. Now, we don't have Ikea where I live, and so my brother actually had to get this for me for Christmas. Thank you to my brother. As you can see, I use it for mostly just trinkets and keyboards. I'm really into the mechanical keyboard hobby, and so I like displaying my keyboards. I would like to do a formal keyboard collection tour, so if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments, but I'll just sort of gloss over them for now. This is a Dreamcast Hello Kitty keyboard. This is a Tofu 65 from KBD Fans, and this is the Candy Bar R3 from Key Company, I'm pretty sure. And then we also have my favorite Korea Lakuma plushies. They're just so cute. I love them so much. This one especially because I can just grab her like this and you know, cuteness, aggression, and all that. This is another keyboard. This is the GMMK Pro from Glorious. This is a KBD Pad Mark II from KBD Fans. And these are all of my artisan keycaps, which are basically used to accent keyboards like this one here. Just as a cute way to add more detail. And I have so many cute ones, even more really Puma. And then these are the last of my pegboard trinkets. We have another little Kirila Kuma bunny thing. I forget what this is called in Japanese, but it's a sea slug plushie. We have some washi tape. And then these are a bunch of business cards that I sometimes use for like scrapbooking. And then trinkets, of course, more Rilakuma, Kirilakuma. We have Miffy back there. We have Kirby right here. Minecraft Axolotl, Eevee and Delcaddy. Eevee is another one of my favorite Pokemon. Directly next to my pegboard, we have my whiteboard that I don't really use as a whiteboard clearly, just because I have so much stuff on it. Enamel pins and crystals and more artisan keycaps and pins and bows and pictures, family pictures. These are stickers or things I've gotten from TwitchCon. So from left to right, we have the Ebiko tag from iGumdrop's uh, merch line. Peter Park's sticker that I got at 2022 TwitchCon. That's a Pokey sticker. And then that's a Basil Leaf sticker that I got at this year's TwitchCon. More keychains, more keychains, more keychains. Oh, a little axolotl keychain that I forgot I had. And then we have this little pin holder that I think is really cute. We have a Ponyo pin. We have a Kerbai pin. We have a Magic Bunny and then another bunny. I like bunnies. I'm hanging some necklaces here too. Good storage. And some earrings. This is a letter that I got from one of my viewers from my PO Box. This is another one. Oh, and before I forget, Forget. I also have more fan art that I got from my PO box over here. So thank you to anyone who has sent stuff to that before because I keep all that stuff. Now for the fun stuff down here. This is obviously a good chunk of my Rilakkuma collection. I kind of divide them straight down the middle where I put Kurilakuma on the right side and Rilakkuma on the left side. And I believe Chido, Chido i Koguma is in there somewhere too. But next over here, more of the same thing. But this time we got little Rilakkuma figures and puzzles. And then we have non Rilakkuma stuff. Soul Eater. It was my very first anime but one of my favorites. And so I'm working on collecting the Soul Eater Perfect series. These were all sent to me by fans as well as these. So thank you to everyone who did that. These are Overwatch light up figures. This is a loot box, rest in peace, and a Pachimari. And then this is part of my mechanical keyboard stuff. These were some switches that I was lubing, but I didn't finish. And then over here, this is like my miscellaneous junk stuff. This is a linen spray. This is my junk drawer. This is a cloth that I use to like wipe the tops of my desk and that shelf because it tilts me. Hold on. It tilts me so badly whenever I see hair on my desktop or on my shelf because I clean it constantly, but somehow I'm always shedding hair and so it makes me want to go bald. And then down here we have more storage. I'm not going to go through all of these because they're really messy, but that's that. And on to maybe the main event, my PC. Wow, 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 wow. Let's get this part out of the way. I don't cable manage, okay? I tried. I really did try. I tr you see the little sleevey things, but then this always needs replugging and unplugging and this keeps coming off and look, cable management is not for me. I've already made my PC with it. I'm just a girl. I'm just, I keep my PC under my desk just because, I mean, I don't have room on my desktop for it and it's just out of the way. Also, it kind of makes some noise and so I keep it as far away from my mic as I can, but it's very cute. I built this myself, but it's an NTXT case and then we have a GeForce RTX something. Up first on my desktop, we have this little shelf. We have a whole bunch of figures up here. Jinx is my favorite League of Legends champion and then more Kizuna AI figures. We have the cutest little Kirbys and Eevee. Over on this side, we have some art. This is from an artist, same artist, uh, a notebook jacket that I had. And then this is promotional art that came with some keycaps I bought from Usume. Then we have Tokyo Sky Tree, I think, Rilakkuma plush that one of my friends bought me from Japan. Thank you, shout out Jimbo. We have some Pokemon cards here with Shiny Wooper and some of my other favorites. Cinnamoral scissors, keycap puller, and then various stationary stuff. Some Tombow pens, some Muji pens, and then a little sleeping Rilakkuma. 
Oh, come on. Oh, so cute. Down here, we have my financial and project planner. This is my journal. This is my Kobo Libre 2. And then this is my content journal. This is accessories, SD cards. And then this is the last part of my shelf. We have this Rilakkuma and Kurilakkuma bunny solar toy that I got secondhand. And then this Kaito Fantasy, my Melody figure. Really, really cute. And then strawberry milk switch container back there, but you can't really see it. And then my actual desk desk. We, of course, have my beautiful medicine desk mat that I got ages ago. This is my keyboard. This is the glorious Model D minus, I believe. This is my favorite Bluetooth mouse I've used thus far. We have my stream deck, which is also really Kuma themed. This is how I control things on my Twitch stream. We have like stream starting and then a whole bunch of music options and then mic options. So really useful. I love this. It also has a 3D printed like covering on it because I think the stream deck plus only comes in black, but I have a, you know, sort of pastel setup. So I got this from Etsy. I have a lot of Elgato in my setup. I love, love Elgato. We have the Elgato key light, which lights my room. I blast it against the white wall to let it diffuse it a little bit. I also have my Sony A6400, which I use as a webcam using the Elgato cam link. And of course my dual monitor setup. These are two different monitors because my last vertical monitor died. Moving on to the last part of my desktop. This is a little daily to-do list that I like to keep. It's really cool because it can like kickstand like this. This is my Awala water bottle. I put a little diva wristband on here because I play Overwatch. For that to sit on, I usually have coasters. Of course, they're really Kuma themed. Right over here, we have my Switch. Again, more of these Gachapon Rilakkuma figures. A Rilakkuma dock case, and then some Sakura, what's some columns? Thumb covers, joystick covers, whatever. I have an Elgato Wave 3, which you can see here. I love this mic because it comes with the ability to digitally split your audio sources, which you can do with something like Voice Meter, but Wavelink does it so much better, trust me. And on my mic, we have a little fake Kamagotchi keychain, and then a little piece of candy that I made, as well as another Rilukuma Dango keychain. Oh, I also have this little fidget toy. This is from Etsy, but it's just blue switches and blank keycaps, and it's a really good fidget. I like it a lot. And then right next to my desk, we have this little rolly cart full of a whole bunch of stuff. This top part is all my makeup. We have palettes and brushes and my mirror. We have a Rilukuma hand mirror here. This is a lot of stuff that I immediately reach for while I'm streaming on Twitch because this is, you know, right here next to my desk. And then of course more Rilukuma. And then these are really rare actually. Little Rilakkuma bunny plush, little flex. Here we have more storage, some hair clips, Rilakkuma hair clips. And then down there are just hoodies and then like a picnic blanket. And then on the flip side of this, we have another pegboard type deal. Uh, again, some more Rilakkuma keychains, an actual Tamagotchi, but it doesn't have batteries in it. And then some switches that I just like to use for display. And then right around this, we have a little filing cabinet that has not files, but more keyboard storage. We have lots of switches. I think this is all switches. Oh no, some keycaps. And then I believe this is a junk drawer. Yep, that looks like junk to me. So that is my room tour. I hope I went into enough detail for all of you. If you'd like to know more details specifically about things that you've seen in this video, be sure to leave some comments down below. And if you liked the video, if you liked the tour, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe for more gaming lifestyle content in the future. I'm hoping to get at least one more video out this year, but I don't know what video I want that to be. So if you have any suggestions or things you'd like to see, also leave that in the comments below. Otherwise, that will be it from me for today. I hope you all enjoyed watching and I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, or good night wherever you are in the world. I'm Umi and I'll see you all next time. Bye 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 b